Good afternoon, thank you for watching Remily Gaming. We're doing another video on the Kittyverse of Madness. It's a demo currently for the game. Um, and uh, this will be our second video for this particular one. Still kind of an early phase, um, so there's a lot of things that could very well be changed or modified by the time the game actually comes out. Uh, but this is just kind of going over more gameplay of the game itself. Um, for those that haven't watched the previous video, it kind of is similar to something like Potato or uh, Vampire Survivor style game. So if you're familiar with that style, it uh, kind of plays on some of those uh, attractions as well. And um, pretty much why we're going to make a second video on this is just kind of going over a different weapon type. Um, so, I mean, uh, the first one we did, we basically uh, utilized a bow. On uh, this particular one, we're going to probably go through and make a staff. Let's see if we can make... So, and this is kind of where you can customize different weaponry. Um, so the other one we have basically just does fireballs. So um, we may go through and actually try to make... Nature stone. I think this earth as well. It is earth. Okay. And then what we kind of want on the back end of it. Because we're fair, will give us a 24 staff with earth. Whereas that gives us 22. Yeah, we're going to forge that. Just to kind of give us a little bit uh, different stuff on here. And then uh, since we'll be running Earth, there's a few different things we can get. So basically, if we double Earth, it just puts slow effect on them, uh, decrease the movement speed. So we'll probably be slowing a bunch of stuff. Um, but if we find fire, we can basically create a bunch of fire explosions. So basically, just explode and destroy, and like destroy stuff that way. The one combination that doesn't really, I think, mention on this. Um, list of things on here, and this might just be an oversight, or it may just not have one yet. It would be fire mixed with um, air. Because I know that combination doesn't exist up here, so I'm going to assume there is probably something like that, too. But, um, yeah, so basically, um, I think this is the last weapon we were using, which is like a, a little bit stronger of a bow. Because the base one you start out with is only 25. And that's 36, so it's significantly stronger. And we won with that one fairly easily, whereas the starter boat's a little more difficult. Um, and of course, it's like the fire one, so if we wanted a fire element, we could run that. Uh, but in this case, we're going to try to earth just to kind of get a. So it sort of crashed on me there. Yeah, um, so we wanted to run earth this time just to kind of get a better feel for it, because I know the fireball one, or the fire staff. Uh, basic creates a little fireball explosion whenever it hits things. So I was kind of wondering, does Earth do the same? And it very well might. I'm sure I'd give it a shot. Uh, that's a two. With the staffs, you get um a little bit less ammo as well. Because instead of like six shots starting out, we end up with uh four shots. But the plus side is, like I said, um. It does give like an AoE blast. So fires one additional projectile. That's almost always a good thing, even if it does decrease our damage. Increase base damage for 10% for every two seconds standing still. Yeah, which is not a bad idea. All 
Well, that gives uh, an extra shot. What should be good? Um, so also, as well, the demo at least limits you to a 10 minute time frame. So we are kind of limited on that respect, but um, it does make the games a little bit more straightforward. So I mean, increase base damage by 10% for every two seconds. Max 40%. Yeah, I think that might be better. Yeah, so I think as it stands right now, it doesn't really matter what um, element you choose. They all basically do these little blast things, unless that changes in the full version. Uh, I mean, we could give piercing. Piercing would be good. I think from previous tests, I don't believe the um, the first thing it hits explodes. I think it appears first and then explode, which usually means it's going to explode right behind something else. And then AOE damage triggers at that point. Increase fire rate by 10%. That is actually really good. We do want to stay away from those goblins. Uh, they do a little explosion thing and since i don't believe there's a way up to this point to recover health you pretty much get four hits and then once you've been hit four times you're just out magnet radius just to make life a little bit easier for us ah they're radius again I mean, this will give us more earth damage. And I think later when you get um, the ability to change your pet, you can probably give it different elements too, I would assume is probably where they're going to go with that. Uh, whether it has a similar crafting thing where like, you can kind of pick and choose what kind of weapon your pet has, or you know, something along those lines. Yeah, and the good thing is, since um, all of our attacks basically pierce and explode. We can kind of just make sure the things we really do need to hit and kind of get closer to, and then I'll just go through and destroy everything behind it. Um, yeah, just more shots, I guess. I mean, that said, I think our damage is really low at this point. Increase fire rate by 10%, reload speed by 20. Increase side, yeah, so we can increase my back. I 
All right, so we hit the five minute mark, which basically means we have a aerobic boss in your list. Increase player damage by 10% is what I read that as. I know it also increases pet, but. Uh, we did take a lot of decreases over time. And we do a whole bunch more shots, but at the same time, um, but we do kind of need to up our own damage just a bit. Yeah, so we are doing a lot less damage than what I remember with um, at least uh, running a bow. Please fire rate by 15, 10%. Yeah, we'll do that. Base damage by 10%. Increase mining at radius by 25%. Fire rate by 10. I think when we were in the bow too, we did a lot of boosting of our pet as well. Uh, if we this time, we'll just try to see if we can ramp up the stop as heavy as possible. Great enemies pierce by one decrease of 15% damage by enemy hit. Yeah, yeah I guess that just maximizes our magnet. So enemy pierce by one. Well, since we're running a bunch of earth right now, we could just introduce firewall. Because I mean, pretty much anything that hits is gonna have earth on it, and then basically immediately like create a fire, you know, firewall blast. Slides do more damage, or they knock back around. They? But they could also be the one where it's like, hey, if you stand still, things happen. But that wouldn't be very useful to us. But I mean, that's it too. Um, unfortunately, there's no actual like really big bosses anymore. It just basically it's a 10 minute mark and then kind of ends. I'm going to assume that every five minutes there might be a big boss um, in a later version. Um, 
Still a standing stall on me. Increase player base damage by 10%. Alright, it's another fire. Okay, so yeah, another pretty solid run. Um, that's why I said um, I wouldn't say the first few rounds I did were a little more difficult because as you get used to different enemies and kind of how the game itself plays, um, you always want to give yourself a little bit of space if you're gonna start shooting at things. Um, you kind of want to get more damage because if you don't get more damage, they're just gonna overrun you. Um, but yeah. Otherwise, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video you uh did like it or if it seems like it's a game that might be up your alley um i would definitely check them out on discord or um on steam because they're definitely on steam i uh, get the demo to test as well just make sure it's something that you would enjoy before you wanted to say make a purchase on it um, but otherwise thank you all for watching have a wonderful day